Hi guys, today I'm doing something much different than I've ever done before. I really wanna review something very basic and compare it with all different brands. I've got a whole bunch of white tees for you guys today. They are all crew necks. They are all 100% cotton. They're all different price ranges. So one of them is like 15 bucks. The last one is almost $200. And I wanna see if it's actually worth spending that kind of money on such a basic white tee. For the record, I don't plan on keeping all of them. Some of them still have their tags attached and that's just a chance for me to be able to keep the ones that are the most distinct from the the pack and anything else that I feel is a little maybe subpar, I will be returning. And none of this is sponsored or gifted. Everything is something that I purchased myself. So I will leave everything linked down in the description below. I will list my sizes that I bought as well as my own measurements of my body so you can kind of compare and make a judgment on which size that you would get. The first one is from Madewell. This one's 15 bucks on sale right now. I have to say it is very similar to a more expensive one that I have in a few minutes, so keep watching. What I wanna talk about with this one is that the fit is really beautiful. I like the fact that the shoulder is a drop shoulder, which means that the sleeve isn't very long, but it looks longer on me. That's a preference of mine. I like for my sleeves to be a little bit longer. Uh, I also think that this shirt, this fabric is very much more on the see-through side of things. It's less opaque, so it looks more like you would see a white bra through it. So I think that that's another preference. If you like to have your shirts be maybe more breathable and you don't mind if your bra shows a little bit, then this would be a good option. I like all sorts of tees. I've, I like really thick ones, I like thin ones. It just depends on the outfit. Of course, with $15, you're not getting as much as you could be with things like their ethical standards. Some other companies that I wanna feature today are you know, five stars on that realm. But this one is just made well, so they're making strides on fair trade, but really just in their denim department so far. Another factor to the fact that it's a see-through shirt it's, it's a very thin material. This shirt wouldn't last for you know several years like some of them will. That's also something to keep into consideration. Maybe you aren't looking to invest in a white tee because the t-shirt will become stained over time, especially if it's a thin material. This next one is from Everlane. It runs $18 right now. It again is a very thin material, but it's not as thin as the Madewell one was. The fit of it, I think, is a dream. I like the fact that it has like more of a longer sleeve, but it's not incredibly long. I also like the fact that the sleeves are a little bit tighter, and that's just, again, everything that I mentioned here is preference. So judge for yourself on what you like. If you like things to have a tighter sleeve or a sleeve that's up higher, I prefer them to be longer, no matter really how wide they are. But I like the look of this one. I think because the sleeves are tighter compared to the body, that's a really flattering look. When I was comparing the feel of each one of these shirts, this one was one of the highest ranked ones on how comfy it is. It's very soft. It's that Pima cotton that makes it so soft. There's nothing like that, you know, it, compared to a regular, a regular cotton of any form. This one is so super soft. As far as durability, like how long it will last, I don't think that it will last like a month. I think it'll last much longer than that, but I don't think it'll last for a couple years just because it's a thinner material and that already will make it more prone to stains and rips and that type of thing. I've had plenty of Everlane shirts that are made of this Pima cotton material. And I find that like my turtlenecks especially, they will last about a year. And when you think of a turtleneck, you're wearing it through several seasons. And same with a t-shirt, you're gonna wear that spring, summer, fall at least. So those are things to consider. I would say that this is a really fair price considered all that I've read about with the good trade. They've shown a lot about what Everlane's ethics are. And I can link that again down below. Next is alternative apparel, and this one runs about $24. It's a much thinner material, just like the other ones were, but this one has a very loose fit. Uh, so this one is a small on me, and I would say that the sleeves have the biggest difference. They're a shorter sleeve, not my preference, not my thing. It's almost 
the way that a cap sleeve looks, you know, when it's a, just up and angled a little bit more. Uh, so this one is not really one that I prefer the fit of myself. The really redeeming qualities about it is that I think that it's the most comfortable thing. It's not the most comfortable out of this pack, but this one is right up there with the best of them. And I will say too that this one is much more on the you know, ethical and sustainable route. If you wanna go that route, then this one would be an option for you to look into. This one I'm quite shocked about. So this is J. Crew. It's about 30 bucks. I would say that it is so incredibly similar to the Madewell one, the first one. But you know what's so interesting is the fit is a little bit different. The sleeves don't have that, you know, you don't have that drop shoulder that's making the sleeves look more flattering. I really don't care for the fit of this one at all. And I was looking closely and it's already starting to have a hole in it. And all I've done is put it on a hanger and wear it around just for this video and it still has the tag on it like I haven't worn this out at all it's an extra extra small it's got that same fabric from Madewell so it's thinner but I have to say that I think it's just the way that Madewell has created theirs I don't know exactly what they've done but this one is so much more fragile than that one is and the fit of it again not my favorite this is me not Zach like I made Zach feel both of these shirts he thinks they feel exactly the same, but to me, this one just feels just a little bit scratchier. In this case, I'm just really surprised because this one is back ordered, I think through July or anyways, for months. Not only that, but it's a bestseller. I'm just kind of shocked at this one. It's much different than what I would assume. It's you know double the price of the Madewell one. If you are torn between the Madewell and the J. Crew one because they are so similar, 100% I would say go with the, the cheaper the Madewell one. Before reviewing the tape on all of these, I thought this next one was going to be my absolute favorite and I haven't ruled that out yet, but I have to say the feel of this one is just like heaven. It is so dreamy and comfortable and soft. It's so much softer than any of the other ones. And so this one is from Quiana. It runs about $45. The sleeves on it are very interesting because they're cuffed and they're sewn to be cuffed. So you can't uncuff them unless you take a little, you know, stitch remover and get that off. But I love the look of this. It's beautiful. You know, when you're thinking of the complete opposite and you buy a pack of t-shirts, you know, in a Hanes bag, you wouldn't get something like this. Like this looks like something hanging up in a really nice shop. So that's what I appreciate about this it's very extremely drapey and loose again I'm such a fan of longer sleeves so that one's hitting that box for me it's not extremely long but it's somewhere in the middle it almost has a shine on me too when when I was wearing it Zach's like you know that has like a sheen to it I, was, I found that to be really interesting a note about their ethics they're more of a slow fashion brand they're very fair trade and I actually even though it's a thinner shirt I don't think it's gonna fall apart very quickly it's very tightly knit and I think that that will give it a little bit more life to it. Um, but I do think that it could stain kind of easily. Next is Redone, and this one runs about $78. About a year ago, Redone gave me a shirt, and it was the exact same one. It just, I wore it to death, and so I wanted to buy a new one myself and put it in with this list and just kind of compare it and hold it up against the others. So one thing to note is that similarly to the Madewell and J. Crew ones, it's got this sort of pattern to it. If you look closely, it's it's not an even pattern. It almost looks like it's this heather color, you know, the way that it's knit together. It's significantly different than the Madewell J. Crew option. It seems softer and yet heavier. It has detail in the way that they knit this together in the back or sewed it together. Uh, it looks like it's going to stand up the test of time much longer than some other options. I just love the look of how vintage this looks. It's just so inspired by that. And I feel like I just have a different look about me when I'm wearing this shirt. I also think it's great that they're using recycled or upcycled materials materials, which Redone is just known for. I do think that there is just a couple other shirts in this pack that I prefer more than this one. I will say that this one is a dream. It's durable. It's got upcycled products that it's using fabrics, um, but then also just the fit of it is gorgeous. I would say that probably the way that how long it lasted me the last time was about 
a year, but that was when it started to fade and I wanted something that was just bright white that I could compare against these. And honestly, I could still return this one and still keep going with my old one. Just kind of judge that for yourself, how heavily you'd use this, but I am really, incredibly happy with this one. This last one is somewhere in between really, really expensive and affordable. And I know that that's different for everybody, but what I mean is it's luxury, definitely. It's not Chanel expensive, but it's not, you know, much more affordable, like the $15 option. So this is Jessie Cam and it runs about $195. There are some really redeeming qualities about it where I am very tempted to keep it. So I will just review those with you. First of all, it's more of an antique white. It's not like a starch, crisp, clean white. And I think that that will make it last a little bit longer because I don't have to try to maintain that brightness. If you look closely, the stitching on it is a very starch, clean, bright white, which I think is a really unique detail to it. Then they put extra detail around here where it's like double stitched and the material is extremely thick. It is so incredibly thick that I would say that you could definitely wear it in like spring and fall or you know, if you're indoors, but if you're gonna wear this outside in 90, 100 degrees, you'd get pretty warm which might make you sweat and maybe stain the shirt. So just kind of think about that. But reviewing the tape, I would say that this, I was just blown away at how different this shirt was cut to make it look on me versus the other shirts. The other shirts look more standard, you know, and that's what you get for, for what you pay. When you wear something like this, I was really surprised to see how much different I felt like it looked on me because I wasn't expecting that much of a difference for a basic white tee, which is why I wanted, I was like curious and wanting to try this example. And I do love how long the sleeves are. That's like automatically I'm gonna fall in love with anything that has that. It's got a really wide cuff on the sleeves and I feel like that's another win. Like it looks really flattering there. And then I, because it's such a thick shirt and it's just made with such detail and quality and extra stitching everywhere, this shirt is not going to disappear in a few months. Like some of the more like see-through or cheaper options are going to only last maybe, you know, a season. Whereas this one's going to last, I could see if you took care of it, maybe scotch guarded it first, it would last me, you know, a couple years at least, maybe three years. So you are paying for that. And if you're more trying to buy less and just like consume less, then something like this would be a good option because you're going to have it forever, you know, as far as white tees are concerned. And they're such a staple that I could see that that would be a really great benefit. So Jessie Cam is more small business. I think she has like three employees. It's made locally in LA. And those are reasons where it goes more into the cost of what you're paying for. So look into all of that, judge for yourself and just see where each one of these companies aligns with where your values are in those realms. Uh, but this shirt overall, it's five stars on how long it will last. The fit of it, I am absolutely in love with. Very tempted to keep it. The feel of it, I would say, is the only thing holding me back from giving it like five stars because it isn't super soft, but I love the feeling of having a thick shirt sometimes, you know? So going into the ones that I'll be like keeping and returning, I love, love the Quiana one. That one is my favorite. I think that it's just such a great price range and I also think that the fit and the feel were absolutely amazing. So I definitely want to keep that one. I'm also very tempted with the Jesse Cam one, even though it's much higher a price. I could see in the footage the difference of how it's cut compared to any of the others where I feel like okay, it's a designer shirt. Like this one has reason for the price because it's just such a beautifully designed shirt. And then the quality of it is right up there. So no disappointments there. I just, you know, maybe with time it will get even a little bit softer. I wish that it was just a little bit softer. If it was, it would have been my favorite. 
Out of the affordable options, definitely the Everlane one was my favorite. $18 and you get an incredible shirt and it's just beautifully cut. Uh, the, the design of it was flattering, it's very lightweight, and it's something that I could wear every single day. As for the ones I'll definitely be returning, the alternative apparel one just really didn't amaze me enough to keep it. Just the way that it fit really was a little bit awkward to me, and so it's just really not my preference. I do think that their ethics are just amazing, what it stands for, so those are qualities that you might want to invest in and make up your own mind on that. My least favorite and the one I'll definitely be returning was the J. Crew option. I just don't think that it was a good fit. I feel like it was poorly put together. It was double the price of the Madewell option, and it's, you know, same company, everything, so I would rather just go with the Madewell one if I was choosing between them. I think that the Madewell one had a much better sleeve length as far as having that drop shoulder and this one just doesn't have that so definitely not a fan of this one. And that's it. Hopefully you found a shirt that meets exactly what you love. Maybe there's a certain fit you love or a brand or you know that it's standards behind it or maybe it's just a price point thing for you and all of those things are something to judge for yourself but I definitely have my winners and losers in this pack for my own personal taste and hopefully it just gives you guys insight. If you like this sort of video then let me know because I could definitely do this more frequently with different types like maybe jeans or, or shoes or there's just so many options. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You love dancing in the rain You never mind a cloudy day Make the world a better place Yeah, you love dancing in the rain